Hello everybody, welcome back to another video where today we are hopping into Rend, an up and coming survival open world, kind of a little bit MMO-ish, but at least they, they, they tell, oh look at that, we're already in the controls, I literally just hopped into the server, so I definitely wanted to show everything that there is, press left alt for a mouse cursor to close this tutorial, close, alright, well we're gonna be learning how to play the game today, I got my hands on a pre-alpha key, so this is really like the earliest playable build that we are getting our hands on, but already, this is looking fancy. I like donkey. Get out of my swamp, donkey. We got some pantalones. Uh, did we equip those right? We did. I totally thought I put those on the wrong thing. And some shoulder pads. And we, my friends, are looking like uh, training camp football players. I like it. So there is a tutorial that we are slowly going to be learning about. But in the meantime, whoa. I'm going to be taking all of this. So we literally just spawned in. And I sure as hell hope this doesn't belong to anyone. Because if it does, I'm a dick. So let's hope that I'm... I can't move. Never mind. I can't even be a dick right now. I'm too heavy. Too heavy to be a dick. Oh no. Uh, how do I split this, by the way? Uh, why don't we just drop the cobblestone walls for now? We will be back, though. We will be back. And it looks like someone has actually already kind of begun building. There's a giant force field around the thing. What looks to be Casper the Friendly Dragonfly. Who's actually 2D. Uh, we got something we can interact with here. A refinery. The saw is on. So, alright. So here's what I'm going to say. This is... The interesting thing about this game is there are three different factions. Alright, this is a faction type of game. And I'm actually... I'm gonna... I'll put away some of the good stuff. I'll, I'll stay with, like, the wooden stuff. This building houses personal player stashes. I don't... Do we need 50 of those? Probably not. And we're just gonna run around a little bit. Hopefully learn about the game. Here we can interact and probably... I don't know what that did. That's the fire. Okay. Fire has nothing. Wait, hold on. Oh, no. That's recipes. Oh, we're already looking about some recipes. Look at that. If we press E on that, that does something. And here... We have a giant fortification. I'm gonna guess. Take a wild guess. That's our safe zone. So this... Oh, look at that. We even got some fires going outside. This is the fortification of us. But anyways, in this game, there are three factions per server. Alright, I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna be kind of similar. I'm, I'm guessing everything's centered around that gigantic tree. And if it isn't, I kind of do want to go over there and ch check out the gigantic tree. But before we begin that... I kind of do want to begin actually building around here, because I don't know when the sun's going to be coming up. Uh, can we interact with this tree? No. What is this? Oh, this is looking like someone's house. Pretty fancy. I'm an awful person. I've, I, these, are, these definitely belong to people. Marrow Orchard. Raw resources. Oh! And we can actually... This is a crafting station, so already... Ooh, we can craft potions! Would you look at that? And tranquil... Special kind of... What is this? A mystic altar. I will be damned. This is looking cool. Uh, this looks to be some kind of a shed we can't go into. Oh, never mind. Maybe we can. Maybe we can. We got another huge f chest here. Oh, mama. That is a lot of everything. I don't know where everyone is. This is supposed to be... I, I think I may have joined the faction that currently had like one person on. Perfect scales. Look at that. Fangs. Someone has been going... Extremely ham over here. Yeah, wow. Okay. We're gonna Hopefully learn slowly, but surely you can see in the lower right hand corner We do have some things we do need to keep track of such as food all that jazz for now though I just kind of want to explore the castle before we begin building up our first base or something like that I wouldn't mind actually venturing out there seeing what it may contain. Sorry that it's nighttime right now I'm unfortunately I'm not the god of weather. I can't I can't control that and this is well, it's not a single player game, so I don't think I could set nighttime to go by super freaking fast. <laughs> Shout out to you, Ark. I love you. But as you can see here, I'm pretty sure we can actually withstand assaults. I'm pretty sure people can attack our castle. Because here we have... Maybe this is just to kind of give it that castle feel. But usually when castles have these little slots, those are perfect for shooting down on people. And shooting down on people is usually something you do when they try to attack you. By the looks of it, the top floor isn't super developed here. Looks like, it looks like the, this faction, right? We're part of, I think, Ravenfield? Ravenclaw? Raven something. Raven something. Speaking of Raven something, I'm Raven hungry. I gotta get some food in me soon. 
And water and all that. Yeah. Yowzas. Okay. Uh, how do I... Is it like left alt? There we go. That's the mouse. Okay. So, here we got different menus we could... Oh, look at that. Let's check out our stats. That tells us actually a lot about what is going on. Holy cow. Our inventory. Damn. This is looking hella in-depth. What is this? Different skills. I don't think we have any skills. We don't have any skill points. I think... No, we don't. We don't. We can't unlock things, though, as we level up some of our skills. Which we probably level up in the traditional way of just kind of, you know, working on it. Stuff like that, probably. Uh, so let's go to unlockables. Personal crafting. This is some of the stuff we can craft on us. Specifically a stone axe. I kind of want to venture out. I don't want to utilize this giant stockpile at least too much. Uh, ooh, talents. So we get points for talents. We can do things like assassin. So, ooh. Placeholder text. Yeah, this is pre-alpha. <laughs> this is definitely pre-alpha. And a faction tech tree. And I think, yeah, there you go. So factions are actually going to play a pretty big part in the game. I think because in the server, you can win every once in a while. I don't remember how, and I think the sun's rising. Uh, I don't remember exactly how, but you have to find offerings around the map that you then offer to the central god of all this crap, right? And look at that, dude. This is fancy. Like, for real. I'm. This looks good to me. This looks good to me. There's a lot of good stuff here. This pleases me. Hello, Dragonfly. That is really cool that that Dragonfly has, like, dynamic lighting around it. <laughs> it even affects us, not even just the landscape. Damn. That is good. Okay, uh, let's put the spell book away. We have none. We are the worst wizards of Waverly Place ever. Anyways. Oh, what is that in the lower right-hand corner? Temperature stats. Damn. Talk about in-depth. There we got the hotkeys. All right. Well, I think this is a good time for us to continue making our way down. Seriously, they went ham on this stuff. This looks like it's an important chest. Nope, there's nothing. Wow. And the, the one that looks less important actually has something. Ooh, it's got a bow already. You know, this is here for the good of the faction. I say maybe we collect one for ourselves. Ooh, mama. A repeater? Okay, why don't we take a couple of these, uh... <laughs> a couple of these... These here things there. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, huh, huh. let's put those there. Uh, ammo. Is ammo a thing? No. Is that a spell? Lesser siphon. I don't even know what that is. Throwing stones. About a hundred of them. About one hundred. Okay, well, it looks like we're prepared to hopefully venture out. This looks like it's like an automatic stone cutter? Yeah. It creates stone blocks. Would you look at that? So there's t it's kind of like Conan Exiles in that there's a ton of different uh, crafting tables that you can utilize. To do everything. This is nice though that our faction already has stuff built up. And you can see, like, we're not starting off on our own. We literally start in our faction. This is really going to kind of push that three faction narrative as we kind of battle for victory. But in the meantime, I gotta sneeze. Mur, 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 mur. All right, sneezing done. Uh, so the bad news here is we gotta craft up some arrows if we wanna do something. This, I don't know what that basket's about. It's gotta be about something. I'm guessing this is where we craft our arrows if we want to craft them. Uh, no. Everything except arrows. Okay, never mind. I, I, it, it looked like arrows to me, okay? Don't judge. Uh, there are the arrows we could craft. If we actually just get a little bit of flint in here, we ought to be a- Ooh, drink some water. Find a watering hole or find a water skin. Place it on your action bar and then use it. So find a watering hole. Okay. I'll do my best to do that. Why don't we adventure out and try to do it? Yeah, let's try to get out of our comfort zone a little bit. Let's find some water. We got a couple things here to start out. Maybe I'll cop some arrows. Who knows? But for the time being, we will go melee and start exploring this gorgeous... Damn. Are we on the best graphic settings, by the way? I do want to check that out. Uh, let's see. Video. Um, so... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not... Uh, effects quality. We could put that up to three view distance scale i don't know what that does but there we go so there's not really like a fantastic i guess there's no like presets or anything like that but that is going to be home home away from home does m open up a map there's no map i don't know how to feel about that uh ooh, look at that we're getting some fiber pretty easy to pick fiber so we actually i thought it was going to be e we actually just click on the damn things and is that what is that is that a demonic beaver 
I don't even know what that is. I'm just trying to find some agua and not piss off everything in sight. Is this a watering hole maybe? No. We gotta find one of those. And we gotta work quick. Ooh, we got some clay. And yeah, we gotta work on the quicks. Cause our water is looking real low. We actually have like no stamina right now. Ugh. I kinda wanna venture towards this middle tree and see what the hell that's about though. To hell with it if we die. Actually, I kinda, uh, I don't wanna die. I would rather live. I did take a couple things and I planned on returning them to not be a dick. <gasps> Agua! La 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 la! This is what I like to No, 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 that's not what I like to see. I think they're friendly. They seem to be pretty cool. Okay. I think those are just kind of wild boars. They don't really attack us unless we attack them. There's a little fire down here. Well, golly, would you look at that, folks? Why don't we grab some of this water, though? Actually, hydrate ourselves. Maybe even cop a little bit of food, but you can see us drink from the agua. Um, someone left their fire on. It's still going. Uh, one cooked meat. Uh, how do I... Yeah, I, I can't really do either of those. I don't have the raw meat. Well, why don't we start trying to work towards some raw meat? I think we could do it. It shouldn't be too bad. In the meantime, we could get some berries. And you can see in the upper left-hand corner, our skill in berry picking is actually leveling up as we do this. So there's actually a pretty in-depth skill system. At least... Oh, mama! That was some voodoo. That was some voodoo magic if I've ever seen it. Yeah, this watering hole seems pretty good. We can usually tell where base is. Just by looking there. I do wonder if we can build out of the safe zone, though. I actually wonder if maybe that would be more dangerous. Maybe if other players come across us. Because this is multiplayer. In case you guys didn't know. Right? I didn't build that castle before I came here. Oh, man. And I'm guessing the closer we get to that central tree, there's actually a... It looks like it's... Using my probably very failing depth perception. <laughs> looks like it's going to actually be a pretty long walk over there. And by the looks of some of those things that we're seeing over there, I don't really think it's going to be any easier than hogs. So while we do this, that tree is not giving me what I desire. Now where is this tree? Damn it, how do we pick up some wood? Whoa, what is going on there? Are those boars, like, did they gather the troops and come try to get us? Oh my god, that'd be horrifying. Okay, we gotta figure out how the hell to get wood. Wait, do we even need wood? Let's see. Wood bolts, wood darts, stone axe. We need a stick, we need two flint. Got it. How do we get either of those things? Maybe we gotta find... Uh, is fall damage a thing? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, well, whatever. I'll sacrifice a little bit this one time, just for you guys. What is that? So we got cobblestone there. Okay, so we're getting cobble out of some of these smaller ones. That looks like it might be... Yeah, that was flint. Okay. So we're kind of starting out like how Ark starts out. I'm guessing... Though we can't punch trees. This ain't no, it, it does not take away from the Minecraft school of thought. Right? But I'm guessing we actually gotta find some lying around on the ground. Hello, big booty Judy. How do you do? That's gonna be the name of that hog. Because holy hell, is that a big bootied hog? <laughs> I almost called it a frog. I'm sorry. Big booty frogs are not as attractive as Judy over here. Judy. The epitome of hog. That, that's, that's hog man candy. Or eye candy. No, that's man, it's some kind of candy. Good candy. It's delicious. Alright, that hog is delicious. Probably, metaphorically and physically. Oh. I thought thing was definitely about to start attacking us. Well, since it appears that I'm a special breed of dingus. As was quite well known <laughs> by now. I'm thinking maybe if I don't see a froglet. What the, what in tarnation? What in tarnation? Uh, find some food. Yeah, okay, dude. I'm working on it. Uh, can we just eat the berries? I ate a berry. Hopefully we can eat some more. Did you guys see that froglet? My man. Okay, let's keep eating these berries. Hopefully they're not poisonous. Dude, we have someone here. Where are they? And are those rats? No, those are hogs. Froglet. 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 Come here. Holy hell. Holy double hell. This tree houses something. A hog to be specific. I'm trying to help you out. Froglet, I'm here. Holy hell, I got hops. I'm like the next MJ. That's fr I think Froglet's typing in chat. You startled me. Oh man, that's a word I haven't heard in a long time. Uh, 
Sorry. LOL. Did I, did I, did I do that right? <laughs> you know, F for faction? Oh, okay. F. What? Slash F. Okay, LOL. Alright, well, it looks like Froglet is quite experienced, and we found a faction friend. And I'm just figuring out the game right now, so I don't want to bother this person too bad. Uh, but maybe one question. How do I get wood, though? I, I'm not excelling at that part of life. Because the whole punching trees, that's not, not buffing out for me. What the hell? These hogs are Skyrim horse. Did you see that thing was climbing a 90 degree angle? Oh my goodness. Hit a tree to get sticks. I've been hitting. I've been hitting. Pick up cobblestone and flint. Make picks and axes. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. The sticks. I've been hitting trees. Uh. Yeah. I got water and food. Holy crap. Jesus. Scaring the crap out of me. I've been, I mean, maybe we gotta find smaller trees or something. I don't know. Whatever we gotta do, though. Alright, I, I do believe we will. Oh, there we go. We're, th that has the special icon. Usually when the icon switches like that. Okay, so the last couple trees we've been trying to do that to weren't working. But now they're working just fine. Okay, this is great news. Let's build our stone axe and begin the crafting. Oh, why thank- Oh, mama! Was that him or me? You casting a spell? Gandalf, I see you, man. The costume's not fooling me. Good makeup, but no, it's not fooling me. Thank you very much. Anything else you're gonna drop? I hope not. So that's really nice, because flint looks like it was pretty annoying to get. Oh yeah, C for personal crafting. Oh mama! I hope that didn't kill you. You know, I'm, I'm surprised. Your legs seem to be made of antimatter. They're literally not affected by trees. <laughs> Pick on pines for sticks and axes for logs. Will do! Whatever you say. There we go, we got the stone axe. Now how do we get a pick? Tools, weapons, do we have to unlock that? Uh, I think that might actually be a thing. I'm trying to cancel, that's not working, okay. I guess the cancel button does not work at the moment. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep. Player stats, how's that looking? No, it's definitely not unlockables. Yes. Probably. Bow rank one. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think I see what's going on. No, this is for perks. I actually don't see, I'm just, I am bullshitting pretty hard right now. Uh, recipes, there we go. Oh, okay. So, we progress towards recipes. I'm guessing we actually have to put things to use to progress. This is a pretty interesting system. So I'm guessing if we continue using this, will we level up? Or will we unlock it? Whatever happened, we got something, man. The game doesn't tell me what we got. But we're getting stuff. And it looks like some. sometimes they drop different durabilities, right? Because we actually got, if, if we check out our inventory, we got a sturdy stick. Now, I've never seen a sturdy stick in my life. I don't know what to expect, but we got it. Whatever the hell that means. And then if we go back to unlockables. Yeah, unlockables. Uh, we can go to recipes. And we are progressing somewhere towards it so the stone pick we got to level up stone or do we just literally get stone what whoop, 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 whoop. we made that noise i don't know something did so i'm guessing we can't mine that we can mine this though maybe we should just like we're getting cobblestone and these things probably have durability too so yeah i think once we get the okay so our skills we don't unlock recipes. It's directly related. Oh my god, explosions. <laughs> Cobblestone fireworks. It's del it's de la 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 la. I can't talk. It is directly related to what we know. So now since we got level 1, we unlocked the stone pick. We could get that. It's probably going to be a lot better 
at, uh, can we actually craft one? Yeah, baby! Yeah, we can. We can get throwing stones, bolts. Um, I don't know which one... Wooden bolt. I feel like... Darts. Uh, bolt repeater. Why don't we, uh... Uh, do we not have fiber twine? We probably have to make fiber twine. Yeah. Oh, we actually probably have to get it back from base. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna grab a little bit of twine. Hopefully craft this thing, but I'm liking this so far. I think next episode we'll kind of fiddle around with the building. Right now we're figuring everything out. And oh mama, is there some stuff to figure out. Oh mama, we are getting hungry. Never mind. Uh, I wonder if there was food back at home. Whatever there was, this is not good. This is not good. I need bushes. That's the only type of food I know right now. Bushes. Bush me. Bush me. Okay, maybe we have to go to an open hand. Yeah, we do. So it actually does depend what you have in your hand on whether or not you can collect crowberries. Uh, I hope those are not poisonous. So these bring up our hydration and everything a little bit. And it's kind of a double whammy because we're getting fiber for it too. You can also use axe and picks on the dead pigs. Okay. Sounds good. Awesome. This person's been very helpful. Shout out to them for being so awesome. And I might maybe try to collect one of their dead pigs. This appears to be the residential hunter. And I'm going to capitalize upon that fact. Hello, piggies. I don't even think he cares about the meat, whoever this is. I can't tell if it's a boy or a girl, actually. It looked like it was maybe a girl character. But as you can see, the more we harvest these things, we're actually leveling up our creature harvesting, as weird as that is. And getting a little bit of raw meat. And, oh, mama. It's raw meats. Oh, and actually leather scraps, too. Look at that. Well. I said we head back to bait. Maybe, no, let's go back to the watering hole. We got a fire going there. We'll cook up our food. We'll refuel on water because we kind of need that pretty badly too. And uh, yeah, now hopefully... I wonder what the logout situation is like. I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Oh, Jesus! I thought you're friendly, you dick! No, no, no. Oh my God, that sounded like a car crash. No, no. Stay away, foul, foul, foul being. Ah, what have I done to you? All I did was harvest your friends, man. Act like that's a- Jesus! Get your butt out of here! I will fight you to the death. This pickaxe will be the last pickaxe you ever see- Jesus, maybe not. Oh my. Okay, well maybe he's stuck. Nope, he's not stuck. We killed it! Did we kill it? We killed it! Yes! Down goes the hog. No one is a match for Star Snipe, the pickaxerer. I'm, I'm not just any hunter. I am a hunter with a pickaxe that many fear over the years. Personal crafting. I think we unlock new stuff. Fiber twine. Oh, mama, would you look at that? Can we uh, craft all? Let's do that. That's going to be a ton of fiber twine we're getting. And then talents. I think we unlocked our first talent. Well, would you look at that? So. There are a lot of talents we can mess with here. Assassin, increase sprint speed and st Okay, so I'm guessing the end skill is what we really want. Uh, ooh. Nothing super special, just kind of statistical stuff. Well, let's just look at what rank 1's gonna help us the most. That's gonna let us run more. Stamina regen by 10%, ooh, that seems okay. Reduce stamina drain, I'm sorry, I had to burp there. Uh, Mystic kind of helps out people nearby, too. Hmm. Well. It's a tempting offer here. Reduce stamina drain rate. Or... That increases our speed. I want to be fast. Okay, never mind. I guess I, I can I not... I, I have a point. Does this point mean nothing to you? Yeah, I guess it means nothing. Wow. I am heartbroken <laughs> that I actually did absolutely nothing. Okay, well, let's actually avoid these pigs before they murder us and stuff. <laughs> Our food looking really bad right now. Let's hope we can get to that watering hole. Get the food we need in us. Cook up the fire. What? No, cook up the food on the fire. I don't think you can cook a fire. Or I don't even if you could, it'd probably be very not tasty. <laughs> All right, I've never eaten wood in my life. 
I don't plan on it. Metaphorically or literally. <laughs> Oh, there's the- there's the good old fire there. Alright, well, let's get that water we need. Gorgeous. Uh... Turns out this is actually low-key the Bay of Pigs, apparently. Hey there, piggies. Don't mind me, just cooking my food, you know, raw meat here. Let's- let's put that in there. Let's, uh, let's, I'm just- I think it's just automatically cooking. Something like that. It's got a number on it. And my guy is either really getting some action behind this screen is getting some real good action. Or he's just a moaner. I think he's just a really, really a moaner. Okay, there we go. We got some of that cooked meat. Let's devour that. Um num num. Um num num. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, wait, what? For a second there, it literally was not helping our hunger. Uh, I guess we gotta give our body a second to metabolize everything. You know, I've never, I've never had to metabolize stuff in games. This is in depth, man. This is in depth. Speaking of that, dude, I metabolism. I am surprised. I'm not like 300 pounds. You guys should see how much I eat and what I eat. I'm actually surprised I haven't had a heart attack yet. All right. Well, actually, lately I've been eating a little bit better just because I'm too lazy to go get food. <laughs> That's my saving grace, man. That's the only reason I'm not 500 pounds. I'm too lazy to get food. It's like the paradox. It's like, eat more or be lazy. And it's just like, they clash and they cancel each other out. So I'm lazy and I eat a lot of food, but they cancel out. So it never gets to me. <laughs> I'm probably totally overselling it, but I, I, I you know, don't, don't mind me. Don't mind me. So let's get a little bit well, that's a little bit of that food that we needed, and we're just gonna wait for that to metabolize and go ahead and call it here. We're gonna be logging out here. Hopefully, we don't lose anything, uh, but even when we come back, that place should be safe. Um, you know what I actually think it is? I think that zone just means only people of that faction are allowed in there. I think we can, like, realistically build wherever we want, but that's our designated safe zone. Unless there's wars we can declare. And speaking of that, uh, ooh. You know what I think that is? I think that's how close the offerings... Oh, Looking at this angle... You know what I think? If we went to the different sides of that tree, I feel like there'd be different bars, maybe. And each color represents each faction. Whoever gets to the top first, like, wins or something. I don't know. If you guys want more details, I'll, in the description, there'll be some details on the game. But nighttime's rolling background anyway. I think this is a good point to end off. I'm just going to wrap up for me. If you guys want to see more, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Or by hitting that like button. Or by being a super awesome dude and doing both. But I'm excited to see where this game goes. I'm always loving to do new games. Especially when they look pretty promising. And are already fun. Don't at me. <laughs> but uh, that's going to do it for me. I ourselves a fan freaking tastic Whatever day it may be for you. And I will talk to you in the next one. See ya.